a spoonful of sugar. But have you ever wondered how they make white sugar so sparkling white? Do they use bleach? Is there something in the way that it's made that I should worry about? To try and make white sugar in the barn would just be too complicated, so to find out more, I hit the road. Now, not many people know that over half our sugar comes from this root vegetable, the homegrown sugar beet. But it only contains 17% sugar. So how do we get from this to this and get rid of all the other bits we don't need? Well, this is how with a giant chemistry set. Sweet about me. Nothing sweet about me. We don't grate sugar beet onto our cornflakes. It's not very sweet. Hello, Bob. Hi, Jimmy. How are you doing? All right. Now, Bob, is it quite a simple process? Can I do it back home in the barn? Very unlikely. British Sugar's Bob Howe says this process is so precise, I couldn't do it in the barn. He doesn't make sugar by simply chopping up the beet. Can I taste one? A little bit gritty. There's um, some sweetness now, but not a lot. To refine our own sugar, we'd have to stew the beet in hot water first, like making tea. But we still wouldn't have sugar. It's still a long way from those white crystals we buy in the supermarket. If you look at it, it's this yellow, cloudy substance. The cloudy yellow juice is full of bits from the beet we don't want on our cornflakes. They use some clever chemistry to remove them. So how do you get the sugar out of this solution now? First of all, I've got to remove all of the impurities. Is that with some sort of filter? No, oh, come on, Jimmy. Don't you remember your chemistry at school? Sorry, Bob. I think I must have been off that day. Extracting sugar from beet uses a lot of science. And here's the surprising bit. They use carbon dioxide gas and a solution of the mineral lime to clean it. I add lime. Yeah. And I bubble carbon dioxide through it and I precipitate calcium carbonate. And you'll know this is chalk. The lime and the carbon dioxide Bob adds join together to make chalk. As the chalk forms, it traps the impurities. When the chalk is filtered out, the sugar juice is much purer. See, you never know what you might miss if you skip school. You can uh -huh. see the chalk starting to settle, Jimmy. Yeah, it's settling quite rapidly as well, but you're left with the, the clear solution at the top. But it's not that clear. I still wouldn't put that in my cup of tea. To turn this into sugar crystals, they boil the juice to evaporate some of the water. This leaves behind a thick syrup of sugar. If you get the temperature exactly right and spin it in a centrifuge, something magical happens. The syrup or the juice will start to separate from the crystals oh, and wow. you'll be left with pure white sugar. I can see it now. Look at it change colour. That is incredible. It just changes before your eyes. Look at that. It's like snow. So if I put it in the bag now, would that be a problem? Yeah, it'd end up going in one big lump, Jimmy, and you wouldn't be able to get your spoon into it. Right, well, let's try it and bag it, then. OK, let's go. The sugar beet has been washed, chopped, steeped, filtered, boiled and spun. Just to get at that 17% that we can use. All we need to do now is bag it up and get it in the shops.